Stephanie Mansfield and I'm Assistant Professor um, Children and Young People's Nursing and also Course Director for the um, BSc Children and Young People's Nursing Programme at Coventry University. What did I want to be when I grew up? So um, actually um, I've always wanted to be a nurse so it was a bit boring actually I suppose really because <laughs> I did what I wanted to do. When I was four I decided I wanted to be a nurse not really sure when I decided I wanted to be a children's nurse. I think that probably came a bit later on because um, I suppose when you're four you just think like a nurse is a nurse. Um, I did have one point where I wanted to be an astronaut um, but then swiftly realised that that probably wasn't going to be the career for me. Who or what inspired you to teach your subjects? So... Um, for me, my journey began in teaching, um, so I'd been a nurse for a while working in a children's A&E department and I taught students out on placement, so um, I helped in doing like the student rotors and also um, supporting students on a daily basis. I realised that I really loved teaching, I really loved supporting kind of like the next generation of nurses um, within placement and then an opportunity came up at Coventry um, in the clinical skills team. Um, so it just kind of continued from there really. Um, so what's your experience in your field? So I actually qualified from Coventry University as a um, children, young people's nursing student um, back in 2009 I think it was. <laughs> um, so a while ago I went straight to work at um, a children's um, accident and emergency and um, I kind of went there after qualifying because I wasn't really 100% sure exactly what I wanted to do or where I wanted to work. What I found though when I started in A&E was I, I just absolutely loved emergency care um, and so ended up staying there for nearly 10 years. I got a really great um, breadth of knowledge. Um, I really liked working across the different areas within the A&E department as well. So we had like minor injuries, more minor illness, um, you know, right up to kind of, you know, like your recess room area. Part of that, I became a junior assistant within the department. So then I was um, coordinating the department on a daily basis. So um, working with obviously the medical teams and the A&E doctors in order to um, coordinate the care that children received. But alongside that, I trained to be um, an emergency nurse practitioner so that meant that I could then see treat and discharge children um, with minor injuries within the department and then obviously came to the university so as I say I started here one day a week as a clinical skills tutor um, teaching lots of different skills across um, lots of different fields of nursing um, I also um, then progressed into the children's team and um, now support across multiple different modules and I'm course director for the course as well. Um, what do you love most about teaching? I love most about teaching is um, seeing students progress. I think that's really nice. You know, as a student myself, like I struggled at university. Um, I was never like a complete whiz on top of the class in like everything, but actually sometimes it can take, you know, you a bit longer to kind of get things or um, I'm a very visual learner, so I like to be able to see things. And I think um, I, I can see that with um, lots of our students as well. Um, but it's really nice when maybe you're teaching a subject or maybe you've taught something and then, you know, in later months or even like in, you know, um, a year later when I go to teach the same cohort again, or we put it into simulation, for example, actually then it's like a little light bulb's clicked on. You see the student go, oh, do you know, I see what you mean now. And I think that's really lovely, um, is actually just seeing students um, develop and progress um, and, you know, things start to kind of click into place and maybe make sense to them. And that all happens at different times, really, for different students. So it's lovely to kind of see the student's journey as well. I keep all the graduation books as well. So that's something that I did when I started here. So all of our students that go through graduation, I keep the graduation ceremony book for every cohort. So they're all lined up in my office. I'm not sure what I do as the years go on, as the collection gets bigger. <laughs> I can't take them home because my husband would kill me. What's the biggest myth about your subjects? Um, so as children's nurses, we don't just play with babies. That's probably one of the biggest myths. Play is a really big part of what we do as children's nurses, but it's not the only thing that we do. Um, you know, and um, 
you know, we're not just there all fluffy and cuddling babies and things like that. Um, you know, it is a very um, serious job what we do. You know, we're there to look after the health and well-being of children and young people. Um, so whilst, yes, play has its part within our role, actually, um, you know, there's there's lots of other parts of the nurse's role um, with assessing, you know, caring for children, putting treatment plans in place, um, caring for the family as well. What's my teaching style? That's a really difficult one, actually. Um, I think I, I like to bring humour into the classroom um, because, again, as nursing, we can talk about some really difficult subjects um, and I think that can be obviously really tricky for students and also, um, you know, we're talking about health conditions, we're talking about maybe like trauma and things like that and actually sometimes students may have experienced those things outside of obviously, um, you know, the classroom. Um, so it's really important to have a, you know, be sensitive within your teaching style in order to consider, you know, things that may um, upset people or have an effect on people. If we're talking, say, about, I don't know, catheterisation, for example, you know, um, that's obviously a, a clinical skill that students need to be able to achieve. And um, again, when I teach that, you know, we often talk about, you um, actually you know, the amount of times I've had like a, a baby like poo on me when I've done that, <laughs> done that. or you know different things that you've been weed on for example um so again you know it's it's about kind of you know really kind of relating to the students and actually um you know not everything is completely serious so we can have a, a bit of humor kind of built in do your students just sit in lectures all day? No, definitely not. Um, so our students are really, really busy and all their days probably look slightly different. Um, so in um, children's nursing, students may have some lectures, okay, but the lectures um, will maybe be like an hour of um, their day and that's where like the main or big like bulk information or a concept is like introduced to students we then do lots of seminar work so that's like small group work with students so then um, they'll be broken down into a smaller classroom environment and then we maybe work through tasks maybe have case studies and um, do some like problem um, based learning um, maybe there's a presentation there you know maybe the, the students are presenting to us as well um, and then our students also have clinical skill sessions so again um, a skill session um, may consist of um, going into the Alison Gingell building which is a fabulous building here at Coventry um, in there it contains two like four bay ward areas but there's also something called a flexible space which is basically just a very open space and we can adapt that to fit the needs of whatever skills we want to do. We also do um, simulated learning as well so again simulated learning can come in lots of different um, ways so it may be again that we're in the ward area and actually we've got some of our mannequins and the students um, are looking after them as their patients and we also use service users um, from the university who come and act as maybe like parents or teachers or, or people within the scenario as well. Um, we also sometimes do some like virtual reality simulation so um, we have got a few VR headsets at the university and we use those with very small groups of students sometimes whereby they can go in and do a scenario um, so there's like a, a virtual patient in say a hospital setting and then they can interact with the scenario as to what they would do with that patient and then we feed back afterwards. 50% of their course is also in placement so um, we do block placements um, in our course so um, they have two block placements in each year of the course which are 10 weeks in length and that's when the students are solely out in practice. Um, so they'll be one of our local um, trusts or practice partners and they will be um, working the same hours as, as what the, um, the nurses do on shift there. What's your favourite course module and why? Um, so it's actually my module. <laughs> Um, so I teach on a module in the second year of the nursing course which is um, assessing and care planning across the lifespan although focused on the ch children's nursing. Um, so this is just with the children's nurses um, and I think it's a really fantastic module um, and I think the timing of the module is great as well because it's kind of when the students are 
uh, a third of the way through their second year and it's at this point that students quite often have a bit of a mini panic that um, oh my gosh am I doing the right thing you know we're in second year now things may be getting a bit harder um, and um, my module we do um, lots of we do theory so we revisit some of the anatomy and physiology that they've they've learned in year one um, we revisit some conditions but then um, take on new conditions and, and think about the um, pathophysiology of conditions that um, students may see alongside the clinical skills um, we then do a simulation at the end of each week um, which encompasses the theory and the skills that the students have learned for that week um, or maybe in the weeks previous um, and again simulation is really great some of our service users come in as I've mentioned already and act as like parents or as teachers or just people within the scenario the course team may act as like um, doctors or you know advanced clinicians um, to support the students within the scenario as well and we use some of our fantastic um, child mannequins that we've got here um, which do everything really <laughs> apart from get up and walk out the bed <laughs> as a student i'm worried about the academic workload should i be at some points in the course it can feel like there's a higher workload than others okay and should you be worried no um because actually commentary is really really supportive um not just within cyp nursing but just in general um, all students are um, allocated a student success coach on joining the university and they can utilise a success coach as much or as little as they want to. Um, the success coaches are brilliant so they really support our students and help mentor them. Just come and speak to us. Each year in nursing you get allocated an academic assessor as well which is somebody from the course team who like will oversee you kind of for that year really. If you think oh I'm starting to struggle or I'm just a bit worried about something go and speak to your academic assessor first of all. What's the favourite piece of kit that you teach with? Um, so it's got to be our mannequin Arthur. <laughs> okay. um, he's a brilliant piece of kit. And um, he's one of our new child mannequins that we got last year. Um, we actually have now three Arthurs, so we do need to kind of name them something different because <laughs> there is three of them. Um, but the original Arthur, um, it's like having another child. Um, that's how the team feel about him. We're very protective over our Arthur. Um, he's amazing so he's a child mannequin so roughly around the age of like six or seven he can do pretty much anything he's wireless he's got pulses in all the places you would expect to find a pulse so yeah he's my favorite what difference do you think your subject area makes to the world so obviously um, children and people's nursing we are um, supporting the development of um, students to become nurses within practice so they make a massive difference within um, within the NHS also within private healthcare as well in really leading the future of healthcare going forward um, some of our students have the most fabulous ideas and we've seen ideas that have then become reality in practice you know commentary students are making a difference all over the globe with really being an advocate for children and young people thinking about their healthcare needs and really um, you know progressing healthcare um, for the next generation and we hope to continue um, that within within our subject what would be your advice to your 18 year old self when picking a degree oh um so i think for me when you're picking a degree really think about you know what's my goal you know is it that I want to help people is it that I want to work with children is it that I want to support people who are struggling um, within their like home situation or is it more from a health aspect because I think that will help you to then decide okay this is actually maybe what I want to do um, go to open days um, okay if you can um, can't stress that enough you know whilst the course content might be the same at different universities actually I think it's really important to get a feel for the place and um, actually you know does this feel comfortable for me do does this feel right for me where I'm going <laughs>